Another summer's day, another low pressure system bringing more outbreaks of rain and showers across the country. At the time of recording, the heaviest rain is occurring across northern England into parts of Wales. That's where yellow warning is enforced because of the risk of localised flooding. 40 millimetres widely, 60 to 80 in places could cause some impacts. And even as the main persistent band of rain clears, there's the chance in some places, Lancashire through to Yorkshire, for example, of some lively showers, even some thunderstorms breaking out, so that could cause some issues as well. Also some slow moving showers for northern Scotland, one or two for Northern Ireland. Southern parts will see brighter weather arrive, but again, you wouldn't rule out the odd shower. It's going to be warmest in the south, but where we've got the persistent rain, I think uh, mid-teens up to 17 or 18 Celsius is the highest those temperatures will manage. The persistent rain continues for a time, especially across northeast England into southeast Scotland during the evening. Eventually that system pulls into the North Sea, so the rain eases. Still some showers moving into western parts and a lot of cloud on the map. But we will see some clear spells. However, some humidity lingers through the night and so temperatures are not falling much below the teens. Into the start of Tuesday then, we've got a lot of cloud around, especially across western areas, one or two showers, the more persistent outbreaks of rain clearing soon enough into the North Sea. And then skies do brighten, the cloud lifts and bubbles up, and so we'll see some heavy showers developing. But away from the showers, actually a fine day for many, certainly brighter skies, less wet weather around and feeling warmer as a result, with highs in the south of 21 to 24 Celsius, high teens for Scotland and Northern Ireland. The showers do tend to ease away then into the evening and overnight and actually what we're going to see through the rest of the week is a ridge of high pressure starts to develop and that ridge of high pressure will lead to a lot more fine weather as it extends across the UK. And so a drier interlude Wednesday into Thursday, those showers are easing away. And as high pressure establishes itself to the east of the UK with low pressure turning up to the west, We've got this southerly airflow and we'll import some warmth, some reasonably high temperatures by the end of the week. Thursday, Friday and into the start of the weekend, mid to high 20s in places. But at the same time, this low pressure will edge ever closer, bringing some weather fronts and eventually bringing a thundery breakdown. So uh, a two or three day wonder for most as far as the uh, return to summer is concerned. But temperatures will remain above average into the weekend at the start of next week, nevertheless, even with some showers around.